Well, I remember she was transferred in, this is Christmas time, um, which is always generally a, a great time to work on labor and delivery. Um, and uh, she was transferred in, um, which was I think an unexpected situation for her when she developed a, an atypical and severe form of preeclampsia around 31 weeks. I was terrified with my blood pressure being so high and then when they started me on that magnesium, I didn't really understand what was going on. I had no idea what HELP syndrome was until the doctors had explained it to me here. Trisha had uh, uh, what's called HELP syndrome, um, which is an acronym, it stands for hemolysis, elevated liver enzymes, and low platelets, which is a, a small fraction of, of preeclampsia. So she had this um, atypical and severe form where her liver function was not uh, uh, normal, her kidney function was not normal, and her platelets, which are used to form blood clots um, were, were quite low. Trish Mullaney and her family found themselves in the same situation that many, many families find themselves in where the mother's health is at risk and therefore it's not an option for her to stay pregnant. It was devastating for him. It was the first time I've ever seen my husband. I mean, I've seen him tear up, but I've never seen him actually cry, you know, and it was just scary for him too. I mean, we're our first child. We just got married in November of 2012 and, you know, bought a house and we're supposed to have our family together. So the thought of something happening and, you know, just two of them going home is devastating. When we use our team approach with the maternal fetal medicine specialists, we um, come together as a team to say, okay, we have the mom who's a patient and has her own health and her needs. How can we make the best outcome for the mom? And how can we make the best outcome for the baby? And how can we balance that to get the best outcome for both of them? Dr. Walsh was wonderful. She sat down with me and told me exactly what was gonna happen to Bryn once they took her out. The very unique aspect um, at Rainbow is we are the only three level three NICU in a children's hospital in Ohio that's physically connected to the high-risk labor and delivery suite. So after the baby is born, the mom can come over as soon as her health allows it, whether that's hours or days. It's best for preterm babies to be born um, at a hospital where there is neonatal care that's appropriate for their gestational age, but every NICU uh, has a different gestational age limitations, and so um, some may accommodate 34-week deliveries and, and, and farther on, and, and so uh, that's one uh, advantage we have here. We see very early preterm deliveries because we have um, a NICU that can accommodate them. I was in the absolute best hands and my entire family will attest to that. Especially with her being in the NICU, I just felt great. I knew that she was in the best hands. There was nowhere else that could take better care of her. I never doubted. I just never doubted anybody here.